Hi. I am a highly anxious person, so this is very comfortable for me. Um, <laughs> and by that, I mean a lot of people have anxiety. I'm not diminishing that for you, okay? But for me, it's not like I'm nervous about a thing every now and then. It's constant. Like every day I wake up and I immediately start gagging. It's my body's way of like rejecting being awake. And I think it's because it knows what my brain's about to do to us. You know, like, so <laughs> I'm uncomfortable all of the time. But one of the things that makes me the most uncomfortable is having to ask for help. In 2016, I was living in Los Angeles, and I woke up one morning, gagging as usual, uh, full of existential dread, and remembered that the day before, I had gotten a terrible haircut. And I had been so upset about it that I couldn't do anything about it at the time. <laughs> so I tipped her and I left. And uh, as I looked in the mirror that morning and I saw that instead of the shoulder length haircut with a few simple layers that I had requested, what I had received was Scarecrow from Wizard of Oz. So it was like little pieces of straw just hanging out. It was awful. So I had to call the salon and I called them and I'm crying and surprisingly they're just like so nice about it. They're like, come on in, we'll fix it. And I'm like, can you make sure that other stylist isn't there because I'm mad at her, but also I don't want to make her feel bad. <laughs> so they say that's fine, you know, and I'm getting ready to go. And it's one of those days where I'm already upset because I've got to go do this. It's like, don't want to do that on your day off. You know what I mean? You want to relax, not have to go get your fucking hair fixed. So I'm doing that and I'm trying to get ready and get out the door, but like every little thing is going wrong. Not big things, little, little things, you know, like I stabbed myself in the eye with my mascara wand. I stepped in fresh cat puke with a bare foot. I dropped my coffee on the way out the door and the Santa Ana winds were blowing. And if you guys know what those are, okay, if you don't know what they are, they're extremely hot, strong winds that blow through Southern California at certain times of the year. They're the kind of wind that will get something in your eye even if you're wearing goggles. Like, they're mean, you know? They're also called the devil winds. So I finally leave the house, walk out into the devil winds with my pieces of straw flying around. I'm pissed. It's like making it even worse. And I, I get to near the salon, I park like two blocks away on a residential street. And I hop out of my car, leave my car door open. I always do this, it's, it seems dumb, but it was normal uh, for me. So I go around the front of my car to check the curb. In LA, they'll ticket you if you park too far away from the curb. It was fine, so good. I go to grab my car door, and as I'm extending my arm, whoosh, click, the Santa Ana winds. Devil wind gusted my car door shut which you might think, just open it, right? No, because what I had done when I opened my car door was hit that lock button, because I watch a lot of Law and Order. <laughs> and another thing I had done was leave the car running, which I know is dumb, I know it is, but I was late, okay? So I'm standing there on the side of the street, my car door is shut, it's locked, it's running, my phone's inside, my purse is inside. And at this moment, I'm like, I'm either going to have a panic attack or, I could laugh at the situation. And that's sometimes, sometimes like I have the choice, it's something I do sometimes, but sometimes I do not have the choice. At this moment, what I decided to do was throw my arms in the air, look at the sky and scream, why? And then I immediately started laughing crazily because I thought I was so funny for doing that. And I look across the street and there's a lady there getting out of her car. She's clearly witnessed it. She just looks at me and says, hey, do you need help? Yes, angel lady of the devil winds, absolutely I do. Like, please come and help me, you know? And so she comes over and she lets me borrow her phone. I call a friend. They're going to come help with an extra car key or something, but they're going to be like 30 minutes. By the time I'm off the phone, this angel lady of the devil winds has waved down a man in a white truck full of tools, because there's always a guy in a white truck full of tools in L.A., and it's not even the first time they've helped me out of a weird situation, honestly. Uh, so she's talking to him in Spanish, explaining the situation. He comes over to my car with a crowbar and a stick of bamboo. The idea is he's gonna crowbar the top part of my door open, she's gonna stick the bamboo down in there and push the unlock button. But the angle is weird. She can't get it from there. And she just looks at me and goes, I'm gonna get on top of your car. And I said, okay. <laughs> so <laughs> she's on top of my car, the guy's crowbarring it, but there's a glare. She's having a hard time getting it in the right angle because of the sun, it's going down. A girl is walking down the street, she looks curious. She's like, what's up here? I tell her what's going on. She's like, I don't know what I could do to help, but I'm going to get coffee down the street if you guys want some. And also it's by the salon if you want me to tell them what's going on with you. <laughs> Excellent, amazing stranger, thank you. Thank you, second angel, okay? So now I'm sitting there with that, and then I see, like, I'm running around looking for, like, palm fronds or, like, a tree, piece of a tree to, like, shield this glare. And a guy's walking down the street, and he's got a zip-up hoodie on. I used to be a costumer, so I look at that hoodie, 
I'm like, hey, what's going on? He's like, oh, what's going on with you guys? There's a lady with her feet like dangling off one side of your car. She's on her stomach, like angling this little piece of bamboo into my window. And he's like, oh, absolutely, you can use my hoodie. And he's over there holding the glare. So the girl's back with the coffee by now. So what happens is my friend rolls up and she has her window rolled out and she sees me standing there holding an iced coffee, a uh, guy with a crowbar crowing my window open, a uh, lady on top of my car, feet dangling, angling with the, uh, that was a good alliteration, feet dangling, angling the bamboo down into the window. And we've got iced coffees, the guys with the hoodie. And Paco looks at me and goes, you know any of these people? <laughs> I said, no. She just went, typical. <laughs> she goes to park her car and come back. Within those few seconds she's doing that, I hear them behind me exclaiming, they've done it. They unlocked my car. We all pass out the iced coffees. She climbs down. We're hugging. This is crazy. I'm going to tell my roommate about this later. You know, that's what all the other people are saying. And I just go and get my hair cut because they did hold the appointment for me. It was amazing. Well, one thing that happened was that the guy with the crowbar had been really concerned that I was going to get my car messed up by having him do that. And he was right. So for years after that, every time I drove on the interstate, the whistling... It killed me. The, the rain would drip into the seatbelt well, and I'd have a wet seatbelt. And every time I got pissed about one of those things, I would remember that time those four strangers helped me in a time where I really, really needed it. And I didn't even have to ask. Thank you.